How do you manage to stay calm in the face of the mob, the TikTok mob, <laughs> or the Twitter mob coming at you for certain things or making very disrespectful and targeted and actually just ugly comments? comments. Fun because the other thing, the other flip side of the coin is, you know, we're not just content creators in our personal capacity yes you're also representing an organization yes i'm representing an organization so i can't yeah yeah yay I, yay yay i can't, <laughs> I can't do that in the comments you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah so what yeah. is what are the things that have helped you respond to those comments you know and bring correction if necessary and stay calm Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the huddle and um for those of you who don't recognize me my name is kalita and i'm not here alone my name is given illustrative and yeah still very happy about this new place it's such a vibe and you guys definitely might be seeing this more I think so. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. It's happening. Definitely. We're putting definitely. LED strips. We're doing, we're yeah, no, we're revamping <laughs> here. We were talking about the fact that we fought. Uh, what did we say we fought? What? What? Remember we said we came to the dungeon. Oh, yes. Fought, fought a, a dragon. dragon rescued yes. the princess. You know what I mean? Now just to get this place neat. Put some, you know, now we're going to just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> expectations, expectations. This is so <laughs> exciting. And you know what the great thing about this is? Yeah. We're building something that we agree on. Yes, yes, yes. But what yes, happens yes. when you don't agree on something? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. What do you do? Let's go. Let's go. When you are in disagreement, mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. it's more difficult when you actually have to work with the person. Yes. But I think that this is something that's been on my heart for a while now. I think it's been sitting on my laptop as a topic for mm. like a whole year. Mm, mm. But I don't know. I, it, it's Aren't you glad we're having it here? <laughs> This yeah. is a good topic for this. Yes, the space. The space. Yes, yes. But like, I really think that w we have an issue as a generation about disagreeing. Yes. And you know what? Now that I think of it, it's not a generation thing. It's not like a Gen X, Gen Z. I think across the board, mm -hmm. people have problems with disagreeing with each other. And I've always admired like those professional debates where everyone's just so level-headed and they're disagreeing with each other and they're going on and facts. But no one's, like, getting worked up. It could never be me. Yes. But, like, I really respect that concept where you can look at a situation and just be neutral in your delivery. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. You can be respectful and neutral in your delivery without... Even though you yes. are in full disagreement. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I think that's something that we need to learn. Because every day... It's actually quite funny. Recently, on an I Am video, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. got into a disagreement with someone. Yeah. And at some point, I just had to like pull off and be like, you know what? This conversation is actually not going anywhere. It's not mm. fruitful. And quite frankly, it's just annoying me. So okay. instead okay. of... It responding badly let me remove myself from the situation if mm. you know what i'm saying mm. and i think that's something that our especially on social media but i think it's a life skill that we all kind of need is to know how to disagree with someone feel the emotions yes sometimes we get worked out but have enough discipline to control our emotions and our response to people who are disagreeing with that and oh sorry disagreeing with us mm. <laughs> but mm. also mm knowing that disagreement doesn't necessarily constitute hate. Okay, okay. And I think that this is a conversation that we need to have. That's, that's a very, very good point you're making. Not only does it not constitute hate, but it also doesn't mean that a person... You know, I, I, I liken it much to when you have a certain artist that you really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, whatever genre of music it may be and then you share it with a friend and they're like Ugh, this is the worst thing i've ever heard <laughs> like the the human instinct is to take it personally yes. like you're attacking my taste in music you're yes. saying i have bad taste in music i'm the problem and it has and although i will also admit that it it's in the choice of words of someone saying 
even food it's one of the most offensive things you could you could do <laughs> like when someone offers you food and then your response be ugh what's know. that ugh, i don't eat this ugh. <laughs> yeah it's one of the most disrespectful approaches you could have to saying no 100% yeah you understand it so i think the 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 real trick of it first of all the word selection for the person who's disagreeing mm. matters it mm. makes a difference and it hits different uh when when depending on how so i i suppose maybe where we can have this conversation cuz you're you're having the conversation from the perspective of someone you disagreed with mm-hmm. right the the person who is disagreeing sure right so yes. i'm also looking at it from that perspective yes. so i suppose the lesson has to be at both, both ends sides. Yeah, exactly because right now it may seem as though we're just talking about when you're the victim of someone disagreeing with you mm. and now you need to then have the skills of navigating that yes but for the sake of the 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 having a progressive conversation mm. the, you have to because i'm curious actually i don't know if you want to delve into it a bit mm-hmm. with the conversation that you were having or maybe any yeah let's say in general yes do you usually have a problem with how the disagreement is happening mm-hmm. maybe the person is being too aggressive maybe they're not acknowledging the good points you're making maybe they're choose just insisting on choosing words that are offensive yes offensive and just invoke irritation and anger sure or is it just the fact that you disagree you know that's something that's that's very important first of all and i think that's something that i've recognized in myself so as a creator <laughs> you know obviously i make my own content as well yes. and yes i do push people's buttons sometimes because it's necessary mm. not in like a way of i'm trying to provoke you but just the nature of what i'm saying is sensitive to people so people will have a visceral response and sometimes i expect that not always but sometimes, sometimes. i expect it yeah the thing is i'm not confrontational so any type of kind of pushing back will to some degree affect me. Okay. So it's kind of an internal thing of me sitting down with myself and having a conversation with myself and saying, "Relax, calm down. This is not any they they're just words." Okay. They're not going to kill me. I'm not going to die. Like just read the comments and respond to them. So that's kind of one end of it. I think um and the other thing is, yeah, it's not nice to be to to have your opinions deemed as wrong. Uh, it's you. never yeah. nice to have yeah. that feedback, yeah. right? Yeah. But I think um there was a a comment that was made on my my TikTok at some point and she challenged me. And my visceral my first reaction is like What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Me yeah. wrong. Yeah. Disagree lies. <laughs> it can't be me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But yes. I think in that moment and I remember this lesson like I was looking at the comment and I actually just had to sit down and I left the comment and the holy spirit was ta- like just ministering to me I wasn't wrong but he was ministering to me to say don't be so arrogant <laughs> I wasn't wrong okay I did my research because I okay let me just finish the story before okay, we okay, laugh okay like I I I was like okay cool holy spirit was like read the comment sit with it let's analyze whether d- are you humble enough to not at not mm, are you humble enough to consider that you might be wrong mm-hmm. so from now what i basically do is i take um whatever comments or feedback and i assess myself i actually ended up going that night not responding to the comment going and reading my bible and going through the thought process and analyzing what i said and i came to the conclusion that no what i said was right and then i can have the conversation and under- and explain why i disagree with her dis- disagreement okay. so okay. i think that there's a lot of things that goes on the back end of being disagreed with and i think pride is a lot of the reasons why the back and forth will happen yep. so having yep. you know having an attitude that says i can't be wrong and i don't have to take any consideration of anyone's thoughts or opinions is actually the reason why i think we have such a contentious debate in the comment sections or maybe it's personal maybe it's happening in the workplace maybe it's happening at school um sometimes we just really need to take a seat back and say am 
I wrong? Yes, yes, absolutely. Am absolutely. I wrong? Yeah. And will I be willing to admit that, that I am I'm wrong? wrong? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. If I were to come to the realization that I am wrong. Um, you, you mentioned social media, right? Mm-hmm. And I think social media is a very a disagreement from social media or on social media when someone disagrees with you. It, it, it yeah. yeah, it comes with a with a spice. Ngatinje, it's just spice from India. You know, straight in the chilies. Pa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I say India, but Nigeria also has some. Pepe. Yay. Pepe. Yay, 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 yay. You know what I mean? And and firstly, 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 I think we should address the issue of learning to approach social media disagreements in particular Hmm. with, I don't even want to say wisdom, but like just expect that first of all, people are going to, are going to be very irresponsible with their disagreements on social media. Just expect it. I've been disagreed with because I've, I've, I've been on other podcasts where videos of me have gone viral on social media. I've gone um, no, 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 actually, just specifically on TikTok. I remember there's a guy we interviewed who went viral on TikTok. Oh, oh Jesus. my goodness. Oh, Jesus. Like, people <laughs> insisted on misunderstanding the points he was making. Wow. Like, they said, it, no, today we choose violence. Let alone the fact that that was just a three minute clip, three to four minute clip that was cut out of a full episode. Mm. There are people on social media, guys, who truly believe that the clip that they find on TikTok, that the short that they find on YouTube is the full the video. The full thing. Like, I've heard they everything. Saw the, they saw all the gaps. They you, saw you, the you, 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 you. And there's a degree to which I can understand those people because you cut the video. Yes. And you chose to cut this part. And this is what I gather from this part. Mm. I can understand that. But as people who navigate social media and understand that shorts are shorter clips of other things there are people who make shorts like they literally take a phone and say this is going to be a 60 second clip and you can kind of tell that this was a 60 second clip Clip, exactly (laughs) but if you can gather from just your 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 general knowledge of how social media works i'm speaking to the disagreeer now Mm. if you can gather that this clip is from a a longer video Mm. have i think have the the humility just as you as explaining as the one who's being disagreed with Mm. right as the disagree To the disagree, yeah, have the 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 the, the, the wisdom, have the, the the humility to say, what if I can hear this and I'm this is what I'm gathering, but what if there's a context context I'm missing, and the only reason they cut this was a trailer. It, it that's it. It's like disagreeing with a Marvel movie trailer because Imagine. you saw them punch, and you're like, ha, ah, this can't happen. Hulk? Why would you punch the Hulk? Why would Hulk? <laughs> but it's a trailer. It's all it's meant to do is to attract you. That's it. That's it. That's all. Like, this is just the wisdom that we need to start navigating social media with. Sure. But anyways, this is not going to reach everybody. Uh, <laughs> but to you. Okay? To you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, and for those of us who find ourselves to be the disagree, sure. those being disagreed with, we need to just walk into social media just understanding that. Mm. The fact that the person who's disagreeing with you doesn't care about context. They don't. They don't. They didn't even fi- likely didn't even finish, finish the, the video. Three, three minute video. Exactly. Before <laughs> they disagreed with you. And mind you, because um, a lot of social media reels, shorts, TikToks are so short. And not only not only the issue is not just that they're short, but they're so skippable. Mm. It's about moving to the next one. They are not emotionally invested. No. It's like, I'm just, just going to leave my comment here and, and move go. on. <laughs> exactly. Whether you responded or not, they not don't my care. Issue. So that's something that we, the disagreeees, I mean, I act like I'm always the disagreeee. I'm a Jesus. huge disagreeer. Okay. okay. <laughs> I just got to put that out there. Okay. okay. I disagree with y'all. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, I just got to let you all know. <laughs> but that, that's another thing that we, the disagreeees, also need to understand that enter social media understanding that in this space, people are not invested. Mm. People just say and leave. Some will never even come back to the comments that you've made. Sure. And that's a very, very important thing for you to understand. That's very interesting because, you know, 
you know the point of conversations like this is obviously to have an impact in our society mm. so mm. our heart behind the conversation is that we change the culture of how we disagree yes. with people but with our very well not say our i'm a little bit pessimistic <laughs> pessim- pessimistic. pessimistic yes yes about you know this i think the other thing that i want to highlight is you having a higher eq or emotional quotient or emotional intelligence about um you know disagreeing with other people the thing that you also have to remember mm-hmm. is that not everyone has that emotional intelligence yes, yes so just because you're giving respect and you're being clear in your ma- messaging you're not you know provoking people to anger um mm. but you need to be emotionally intelligent enough, enough. to have people respond with offensive words with vitriol yes um personal attacks on your character and these people who don't know you and be able to digest them and if you've chosen to continue the discourse you need to be okay with that how your oh, jesus how maybe we can share points how do you manage to stay calm in the face of the mob the tiktok mob <laughs> or the twitter mob coming at you for certain things or making very disrespectful and targeted and actually just ugly comments. comments. How do you respond? Because the other thing, the other flip side of the coin is, you know, we're not just content creators in our personal capacity. Yes. You're also representing an organization. Yes. I'm organ- I'm representing a- an organization. So I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. I, yay. yay. I can't, <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> In the comments, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so what yeah. is what are the things that have helped you respond to those comments, you know, and bring correction if possible, well, bring correction if necessary, and stay calm? What is what are the tools that you use to be intelligent in your disagreements? Okay, that's that's definitely a twofold, two-folded question, uh, which I love because it speaks to the the context that we find ourselves in. Yeah. And then also speaks to the context that everybody happens to be in, which is just the context of I'm posting this. It's my own personal thing. Mm -hmm. And people are commenting about me, coming at me and disagreeing with me. Uh, The first one, when it comes to an organization, uh, this one for me, I've learned the skill of being diplomatic. Oh, beautiful. I've really learned the skill of being diplomatic and not responding to what offended you. Um, so just ignore what offended you. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a skill you learn and you get better and better at over sure. time. Um, and and, and, and there, there was a, 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 a podcast that I was, I was interviewed on and I remember I said something uh, to the effect of referring to people within Central Africa. I said mm. Deep Africa. Mm. And people really got offended. Why is he saying Deep Africa? Yeah, South Africans think they're better. And the thing about it is this now, even within the context of the short clip, mm. I'm talking about when, when the video opens, I'm talking about how South Africans are known to not honor marriage. Sure. So I'm speaking ill of my own country. Not you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all missed the whole point. You understand what I mean? Sure. Exactly. So I'm speaking ill. So I mentioned this example, particularly because I had to do it went viral. Right. Yes. And, pe- you know, when people congregate within co- within within uh, comment sections, mm-hmm. like when you're like this person comments and then there's like hundred and something <laughs> people commenting there and there's another one and then like clusters of comments. Ooh, That's how bad it was. Oh, and no. not just on one platform. Oh, no. So like every platform we posted it to, it's the the short on YouTube is the of that YouTube channel. It's the most viewed short. Jesus. You see, you know. <laughs> Keep up being offensive in and the comments. On every and it, that's the thing, right? It was <laughs> unintentional. Mm. I was using poetic language yes. to describe. It's like when you, when you, when someone says I'm going to the to the depths of within the depths of the jungle. Mm. It's not to say the that heart. exactly to explore the depths of the jungle. It's not to say that what what's at the beginning is not interesting. Mm. They're just making 
uh, they communicating the fact that we're going to the deeper parts of the jungle mm. where there's more to discover. Mm. Not it has no indication of whether what is in deeper in the jungle is worth less, oh, or less value or more value. So you understand? Good. Yeah. So, anyways, I I, I mention and explain that part of it just to il or point out the fact that the comments had nothing to do with the content. Yes. The comments were, it's just offense because of what was said. Yes. <laughs> and I get it. I do get it. Yeah. Uh, so that that's the side for me that I would say was more on a personal level, mm. where if I'm honest with you, I ignored every single one of them. <laughs> I, they, I let them have their conversation. Because that's another thing about social media, right? Mm. People will will have their own conversations. You don't need to respond to every single thing. Sure. People will, someone will actually comment what you were thinking. Mm. That's the thing. If you just allow things to flow, there are those that are worth your time and there are those that aren't. If That's we're just good. honest within and, and zooming in a bit more within the company and organization one, I'm saying this for the sake of being responsible, for the sake of honoring, for the sake of not allowing your emotions to get in the way. Mm. One good trick you can do is have yourself, you know, like how companies have FAQ. Yes. Create an FAQ. Yes. Yeah. Create a frequently asked questions list, including Post. offensive things. <laughs> like how I respond to offensive things. Have those. Every time you respond to one, save it in like mm. OneNote or Google Keep or whatever yeah, your but... note taking software or app is. Or even on Facebook, since it allows you to save quick responses, yes. save those there so that every time you get such a response, then you have a quick... Because one thing you learn is that nothing's new under the sun. Come now. Yeah, these things just keep... Keep rearing yeah. its head. So in terms of responding for an organization, that's one thing I do advise. The second thing is um, remember to keep be diplomatic. If you're not going to do that, you're just going to respond, new response every time. Be diplomatic. Mm. Uh, being diplomatic looks like this. Let's say, for example, we're a, a non-denominational -denom organization. So yes. every people that listen, that watch are from different denominations. Yes. We just operate under the assumption that you believe in, in certain biblical values. Yes. The, the nitty gritties, the, the, the things that are more debatable, yes. those are the things where we tread lightly. Yes. So let me make an example. Some organizations don't believe that tongues is a thing of today mm -hmm. or that it has any effect. Yeah. So the way that you speak is the background that I'm from, yes. we pray in tongues. Yes. And what I've seen tongues does for me is one, two, three. Yes. I understand that not all of us are from such backgrounds. And, I, and yeah, we respect that. And we respect that. Move on. Done. That's, That's a diplomatic. diplomatic response. You understand? Because you address your be beliefs. Mm -hmm. You address their beliefs and you give them the space and the respect to do what exactly. they need to do. Exactly. And you move on. You don't make too much of a wahoo about it. You don't impose your personal this is why tongues is true this is why this is why you should mm. all convert no 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 that's remember so the, the, the yeah remember the platform that you're on sure so you just use a diplomatic response uh, i that's think beautiful. that's a very good approach so those that are my beautiful. yeah those are my approaches i think that's really beautiful and that's i'm like i'm writing notes in my head <laughs> i'm like mm, when i'm gonna post something that's gonna show i know it's gonna touch people the wrong way sometimes already have a response mm. so that when the thing comes you just post the response but you were in a good space when you were making a response yes and i think yes. the other thing that you also mentioned was so valuable is not everything warrants a response exactly and that's why recently when we went through that well when i went through that thing on our page i was like okay at this point of the conversation it's not fruitful anymore and i've done my due diligence i've communicated what needed to be communicated yes so at this point i can leave it mm -hmm. i don't have to be the one that that has the final say and yeah i was speaking to someone who was i need to have the last comment so i was like you know what <laughs> <laughs> just let you have your shine it's okay but i think those things are very valuable being humble enough and you know what i don't think it's as much of a thing of humility as it is a thing of knowing that you walking away from something that's unfruitful 
doesn't devalue you as a person. Because mm. I think that's actually what the issue is. is I hear you. We don't want to walk away from the... De- well, yeah, we don't want to walk away from an unfruitful debate because we feel like it's going to make me look bad. Yes. I'm going to look like yes. I, I'm i less intelligent or I don't have the right information or I'm wrong because they were the last person to comment, you know? Yes. So yes. you feel like you're devalued in walking away from a, a conversation that's fruitful. But I think the one thing that I've learned from my mom is walking away from things that are wasting your time. Mm. My mom is so okay with that. She does have responses for things that are worth her time. Mm-hmm. She is very much in line with the scripture that says, don't p- cast your pearls before swine. She's like, you know what? This is just attention seeking. So I'm not even going to entertain your comments. Yeah. You know, yeah. guys, there's this lovely thing on your phone. Ne? If you scroll, it says delete. <laughs> delete comments. <laughs> if it bothers you that much. Yes, yes. Guys, use it. I wouldn't recommend it. Not for your algorithm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Le- the reason I'm saying that is this, ne? be very careful. The only, t- especially for an organization, sure. don't delete things that offend you just because they offend you if mm. you're working for an organization. Because you don't, the agenda of the organization comes first. Yes. Um, so first of all, comments are good for you. Yes. Good or bad. 100%. Comments are very good for you. Um, they, it's, it's engagement. It looks good. Even if you're, you're getting sponsorship, comments look good. Yes. Whether they're good or bad. Another thing is, um, I would rather take the ignoring it route than the deleting it. Sure. <clears throat> there is the option to hide as well. I saw that. Yeah, there's That's an great. option to hide a comment as well. Um, so consider all of those, on all of those things. Even if you... you dis- if The only time I recommend... Uh, deleting a comment is if the comment is explicitly and unambiguously trying to be offensive and not only just to you but to, to the community yes. and the audience exactly if you're looking at this and you're like yo this is a danger to my community mm. it's a threat it might literally hinder someone's faith or whatever the case may be Remove it. yeah that's when you can delete it um, either than that practice the ignoring and r- I I suppose, let me explain this. There's a part where Christ in the word talks about your faith waxing cold, Hmm. right? And this is a very interesting concept because back in the day, the way that they used to make candles, Hmm. when you make wax candles, there was a process. Hmm. And the process over time, you'd you'd make the inner part of the candle and then you'd wait for it to harden. Hmm. Make it, make it, you'd make it in layers, to grow it. Exactly, to yeah. grow it. That's how a person's heart or faith waxes cold, mm. right? Um, so in, in uh, I, I might be not giving it like the exact example here, but I hope you get the gist of it. Uh, the point of, of that is when you, you, it's like basically going callous. Yeah. Essentially, it's going callous, right? Uh, which is what also happens to like your feet if you don't wear your shoes for a long period of time. It hardens. <laughs> That's it. But it doesn't harden on the first day. Yes. That's the important thing. It takes time. Exactly. So you need to look and think of it this way. Um, if 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 you are responding or not responding to certain comments that you find offensive, mm. your heart over time learns to grow callous towards them. Sure. The effect lessens mm. and lessens, but it doesn't lessen uh, on its own. It's a matter of applying an attitude every time you see it. Sure. So it's a conversation that you're having with yourself. Sure. You understand? What are you... This doesn't devalue me. Exactly. This doesn't make me less of a it, human. Thank you. It's okay to be wrong. Exactly. It's okay that this, people disagree with me. There I am not go. the end all be all. There we go. I'm not, you know, I don't have all <laughs> wisdom and all knowledge. Yes, those, yes. Those, those principles, mm-hmm. having them and like kind of reminding yourself on them. Yeah, it really is a daily thing. Exactly. It really is a daily exactly. thing. And I think at the end of the day, you know... <sighs> Being Christian is tough, man. It definitely is. Having that love. It definitely is. Even though people are... And you know what I actually did? Mm -hmm. And this is something that I want to adopt into my lifestyle to avoid becoming... You know, to uh, allowing having the callous of not being so offended so easily, but not getting callous to, you know, to the point of not loving people. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? And not respecting people. Mm. Like, oh, someone's going to offend me. I'm going to offend you right back. No. 
um, one of the things that I adopted on that day when I said, listen, I'm dipping out of this conversation because I feel like it's unfruitful at this yeah. point. Yeah. I made it a point to pray for that person. Okay. That's so a very, I, very yeah. good approach. Very. I was like, okay, you know what? And you know what? The reason why it was easy in that instance is because I could see that their their vitriol and their offense came from a place of hurt. So it's easy to be like, okay, I'll, I'll let it go. Mm. I'll let it slide. You need healing. I understand. And so I'll let it slide. But, you know, sometimes that's the conversation and the, the realization we need to have when we're reading such things is a lot of the times people are responding in that way because there's a sore here that they need to be healed from. Yes. And sometimes we just need to be sensitive to that mm -hmm. and kind of ignore those things because you know there's something behind what's being said, that this mm. is not a normal response. Something mm. happened to you. I get you. And I, get I can you. give you the grace for that. Mm. But mm. I, I decided that from now on, if I do see that I'm in disagreements and, you know, I have to walk away, pray for the person. Pray that their eyes will be open if you really are in the right. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if you're in the exactly. right, pray for that person. Pray that the Holy Spirit convicts them. Pray. So I prayed. I was like, Lord, I really bring this this person before you. I pray that you will heal their hearts, that your word will convict them, that they will see the truth in your word, that they will come to the realization that this is something that's necessary for their life. And you move on. Yeah. And almost yeah. when you do that you get rid of any animosity that wants to hide itself in your heart. Yeah. Because I think that's what the issue is, is over time, you get so much offense, you collect it, you never let it go. So, here, here sorry, so here's something mm. I'm thinking about that, right? On Within the context of applying it, if something is happening in real life, mm. like let's say it's someone at work, it's someone at church, yes. it's someone in class or whatever the case may be, it becomes easier to apply that approach. Sure. Uh, but there's also now you need to consider how it, how, how it really looks like on social media. Particularly the bigger you, the big, the, 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 the more you grow as an influencer yeah. or the more followers you get. Yeah. Because are you really going, let's, let's take one video yeah. that goes viral. Yes. Are you really going to go through each and every single bad comment? You don't necessarily Like have imagine to. 66 people, congregants. <laughs> <laughs> this is saying, yeah, this is South African. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you understand the I point I'm making? Saying. Yes. It's a, mind you, I'm, I'm definitely advocating for that. Yes. Uh, but practically, it's something that you can do it within an within a smaller an community the, exactly within a smaller community community or even if it's not a smaller community but it's just fewer people yes they're filtered yes you understand yeah and if it's happening in a large scale hmm. the more and and i think it's uh, i, think I your, your approach will just change yeah the way that i would say is okay all of them all of them <laughs> lord <laughs> I cover them. Jesus in this name. Prayer. Manda. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> cover them in the blood. Convict their hearts, yes, Manda. Yes, yes, yes. No, yes, but yes. you could really do that. On, yes, uh, like yes, on a, yeah. Or like make it, I don't know. I'm kind of on a vibe of making systems for my life to yeah. make my life, yeah, make sense. Okay. So I would probably make a system of cool. Every time I post a video, um, make sure that it's something that I feel like the Lord is really like puts his approval on mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but also at the same time pray about it be like lord whatever if there's any conviction that happens here lord you know the people who are going to respond you know the people it's going to offend you know the people it's going to hurt you know the people who need to be corrected by this thing yeah i pray yeah. that you as people are listening you holy spirit do your job okay touch okay. their hearts convict them lord and um help them through their journeys if there needs to be healing have that healing but kind of being responsible as a, an influencer to be like you know what this is an audience that i'm kind of responsible for yes so yes. take them to prayer yeah yeah I, you know that part that you just said right now needs its own episode really specifically and you you weren't even you weren't even talking about that but the fact that you're saying your audience, the people that follow you, you're responsible for them now. Sure. You all might, I'm literally just going to say this as a statement and then we can definitely move on. Also, we're running out of time. Yeah. Uh, but the fact that so many people s want to be influencers mm. and how little thought is given to the fact that Jesus's words, right? The more, the, the more people you're responsible for, 
um um like to to whom to whom much is given there's much greater e- exactly much is required there is so much if if you have people that follow that listen that read your content it is it is such a position of responsibility mm. even in it i think we think of, we don't think much of it mm. because we think of it in the sense of oh i'm going to be famous mm. or people are going to know me there is so much responsibility to being an influencer especially within the context of being a person who serves Christ. Sure. Whether it's for work, whether it, you have a Christian channel or you have a fitness channel. Mm. And I'm not trying to what I hope this is interpreted well. I'm not trying to say if you're if you have a fitness channel, a makeup channel, if you have then it's your responsibility to be Christ 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 in every video. Mm. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this as a Christian, regardless of what context you have an audience. Yes. You are no longer operating as just a person with people looking at them. Mm. Right? You have a responsibility. So good. Exactly. So as soon as that happens, then you literally have to now look at yourself as every scripture that 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 that, that it says about a pastor. Hey. <laughs> about a bishop. <laughs> Jesus. Now you have to ask yourself. And and this is a very interesting conversation that we need we really okay, need fine. to have okay next time given okay. <laughs> all right cool we're gonna we're gonna flesh out this conversation next time because then it also now we bishops have so much responsibility yes elders but now, have responsibilities exactly but now here's the thing when you're an influencer at what point do you have as much responsibility as a bishop that's really good you know what i mean that's so good. is it depending on the number of followers you have Come now because no one's governing you Sure. You don't have a group that you're accountable to. You're an individual, independent influencer. Come now. Okay. okay That's real good. Okay. <laughs> he be spitting facts. Yeah, yeah. Let's park it there. We're gonna park it there. <laughs> yes, yes. We're also yes. gonna park this conversation. <laughs> yes. Where it yes, is. Yes. Because I feel like it's been fruitful. I feel like, you know, we've touched some really, really good things. Um, and I really just hope that it's fruitful for you. Guys, really we're having this conversation to empower you and equip you. We know that your words hurt. I don't know who lied to us and said sticks and stones. That's not making sense to us. Words hurt. Words they were trying be... to harden themselves. <laughs> they were really trying. <laughs> <laughs> they were really trying, but I don't know if they were successful or I don't know. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. But um, I think that, you know, we need to be honest with ourselves. Words are very, really hurtful. And, you know, being in a social media landscape, you know, as much as we here really strive to change the way that we speak and you know engage with people and disagree with people either in our personal physical lives or on our online lives the point is you know we need to be equipped to handle certain things and you know what i can tell you one thing people may not say it but your ability to keep a level head Um, when people are coming at you and being disrespectful and offensive and being courteous and loving enough as a Christian to represent Christ well by being loving and respectful and courteous in your responses and having humility in all of our responses, they will respect you. I don't care. They might not say it to your face. You might not ever hear it. But I'm telling you, you will be respected for your ability to treat every single person, whether they love or hate you, with the same respect as a human, as Christ would do. So I would encourage you to implement some of these things. Let us know what are the things that um, you're going to implement in your own personal life to do better and have better emotional intelligence around, you know, having disagreements with people. And we are going to flesh out that other conversation about Christian influences in the next episode. So you must be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, share this with someone that you know needs this conversation. And we will see you next time. So, peace out. Yeah. Peace <laughs> I out. think we need to do a thing when we end an episode where we try to say peace out at, at the, the same, same time. time. So you're going to say so. So peace, peace out. out. <laughs>